Welcome to another episode of Pick 3 DST, where I give you three defenses I like and one defense I'm fading. For week 16 of the NFL season, the Fantasy Football Playoff Semifinals. Before we get to our picks for week 16, we'll do our accountability check for what was, it, what was an admittedly disappointing week 15. We have been riding high for the last few weeks, but we got a down week at the worst time with the start of our Fantasy Football Playoffs. Our stud defense, the Kansas City Chiefs, and our solid defense, the Atlanta Falcons, both scored seven points, which isn't terrible, but isn't really giving you a lot. The defense we faded, the Indianapolis Colts, scored 13 points, which was a big miss on our part, but the biggest miss of the week was our sleeper defense, the Los Angeles Chargers, which put up negative three points. Now, I did record that video before Keenan Allen was ruled out. However, that, that negative three points, we really can't argue around it. And it's just another good example of how a really bad offense can torpedo a fantasy defense's output. So that's something we need to keep in mind again as we get to these final weeks of the season. Uh, as a reminder, comment below. Let me know which defense you are playing in week 16 or ask me any start-sit questions, and I'll get to those as the week goes on. We'll start, as always, with my sleeper defense of the week, which is the Houston Texans. Consensus has them at 14th, but I have them up at 4th on the week. The Texans are coming off a strong showing against the Titans, holding them to 16 points and 204 total yards while sacking Will Levis seven times. And that was without Will Anderson Jr. and Brian Cashman, who are arguably Houston's top two defensive players. On the season, the Titans rank 4th in pressure rate and 11th in knockdowns, which is sacks plus quarterback hits. So I do think that they could get pressure uh, on this Browns offense, in particular since Browns guard Joel Batonio missed last week's game, or was hurt, sorry, at the beginning of last week's game, and is unlikely to play in this week's game. Now, I know that using Titan stats isn't exactly a great parallel because the Titans are not a great offense. However, the Browns aren't really a great offense either. They've picked things up with Flacco under center, but they still give up the third most fantasy points to opposing defenses over the last month, and they had just seven total points heading into that fourth quarter against the Bears. So I still think this is a, this is a plus matchup for the Texans. I am going to be watching their injury report closely to see if Anderson and Cashman play because that will impact where I rank them in the final rankings this week. My solid defense of the week is the Green Bay Packers. Consensus has them at ninth, and I have them up at sixth on the week. Now every week we're looking to play the defense that's going up against the Carolina Panthers. This week, that's the Packers. I know last week the Falcons went up against the Panthers and only got us seven points, but seven points is a good floor score in the fantasy football playoffs. And it's important to understand that that safe floor can be really valuable for you at this stage in the fantasy season. The Packers have been a little bit of a disappointing unit on the year, but they do rank 10th in pressure rate. And I think that's important against the Panthers offense that gives up the fourth most sacks in the NFL and has allowed the fourth most fantasy points to opposing defenses over the last month. So while I don't necessarily think this is a smash spot, I think the Packers give you a pretty safe floor with the chance to pop uh, a couple of sacks and maybe force a turnover or two and get a pretty solid maybe double digit score this week. So I really like the Packers as a solid top 10 option. Before I get to my stud defense of the week, if you wanna see my full weekly DST rankings, you can click the link below, which will take you to the article that I'll update as the week goes on when we get more information on injuries and weather reports and stuff like that. My stud defense of the week is the Buffalo Bills. Consensus has them at first, and I have them up at first. The Bills put an absolute beating on the Cowboys last week, holding one of the top offenses in the NFL to 195 total yards and 10 points, while sacking Dak Prescott three times and picking him off once. In their two games since the bye, the Bills have held the Cowboys and Chiefs to a combined 27 points and 540 yards. So this defense is playing really well right now. On the season, they rank second in turnover rate, fourth in knockdowns per game, which is sacks plus quarterback hits, and seventh in pressure rate. So they're a pretty solid overall defense that's playing well of late and now gets a really good matchup against the Los Angeles Chargers since we talked earlier in the show about how bad that offense looked with Easton Stick at quarterback. The Chargers give up the second most fantasy points to opposing defenses over the last month. And it's unclear if we're going to see Keenan Allen again since the Chargers have been eliminated from playoff contention. Even if Allen does play this week, I still think the Bills are in a great spot, so I'd be looking to roll the Bills out in all leagues with extreme confidence this week. 
Now we'll end with the defense I'm fading this week, which is the San Francisco 49ers. Consensus has them up at 6th, and I have them down at 15th this week. Now, the 49ers remain my number one defense of the year. They rank first in turnover rate, second in knockdowns per game, sixth in explosive play rate allowed, and tenth in opponent scoring rate, and they are scoring an average of 11.3 fantasy points per game over the last six weeks. However, they're facing a Baltimore Ravens offense that gives up the fourth fewest fantasy points per game over the last month at 3.3 points per game. So this is not a good matchup for the 49ers, and it's a perfect example of how knowing what your team context is is really important for the fantasy football playoffs. Given how good this 49ers defense have, has been, if the rest of your lineup is in really good shape and you just need four, five, or six points from your defense, you could probably roll the 49ers out because the quality of their defense gives them a safe floor. However, if your lineup has been ravaged by injuries and you need a big ceiling score from your, fantasy, from your defense in order to give you a shot to advance, I really don't like the 49ers this week because I don't think that they're a high ceiling play against this Ravens offense. So understanding what you need from your defense is crucial at this stage in the fantasy football season and will determine who you're slotting into that defensive spot. That's going to do it for week 16. Um, as always, if you haven't yet, click below to like and subscribe to get all of our fantasy football content and football content for the remaining few weeks. Comment below, let me know which defense you're playing in week 16, or ask me any start-sit questions that you have. And remember to click below to check that link to get my full weekly DST uh, rankings during the week, which I'll update as the week goes on. And we'll check you next week for our last episode of Pick 3 DST. Good luck on Sunday.